Here comes those warm blankets for you. Steve is not going to remember any of this conversation. He's in a twilight state as his medical team works to reach the site of a large blood clot in his leg. It was pretty extensive. It probably went from my knee up to at least my hip. So, you know, a foot at least, maybe 18 inches. When we met him in pre-op, he talked about that day in September of 2023 that he noticed an ache in his leg. I had some swelling in my left leg, discoloration and then some pain as well. The next morning, Steve says he woke up to a jarring sight. How swollen was your left leg? I'd say about doubled in size. So mostly in my thigh to start and then above the knee was mostly where the swelling was. And then it sort of migrated down through into my calf and into my foot. He went to the emergency department and was immediately placed on a blood thinner. He then saw a hematologist who referred him to Dr. Adam Alley, a vascular interventional radiologist at the University of Kansas Health System. I didn't really know much about blood clots until I started researching it. and found out that it can be pretty severe if not treated quickly. The treatment itself can be tricky. In Steve's case, the clot developed in a vein that's getting pinched by an artery sitting on top of it. Dr. Alley and his team need to figure out if it's best to remove the clot or safer to reconstruct the vein that's collapsed. What this team decides over the next few hours will be a conversation for when Steve is fully awake in post-op.